we're back playing some more Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet rank double ladder everybody already knows what's going on but today we are going to be using a Lycanroc and T-Tar team for series 3 and every time I use Lycanroc and T-Tar in Scarlet and Violet it just makes me remember the good old days back at Sword and Shield when it was T-Tar and Excadrill. Excadrill is one of my favorite Pokemon of all time so I'm really hoping they add it within the DLC but for now we will rock out with the Lycanroc squad instead but this team also features Annihilate and Mousehold a top tier combo and then we got Tinglu and Fluttermane two very strong meta Pokemon Let's use up this team. Let's try to grab some wins with it. But you guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. I also want to give a huge shout out to the team creator, Clover Bells. Again, thank you for coming in clutch with another absolute banger of a team. I love using Clover Bells teams. Huge shout out to him. He's always been making me teams for a long time. And again, yo, just thanks. Thank you, Clover Bells. Link to his channel will be down in the description below. Definitely go check him out. If you want the Poke Pace, it will be over there on his channel but we got lightning rock for our first pokemon with sand rush to double speed and sand storm we got focus ash as its item rock slide endeavor howl for that attack boost and protect for its moveset we got t-tar in the second slot with sand stream and that assault vest rock slide crunch terror blast which will turn turn into flying then we got ice punch for its final move we got ting lu in our third slot and ting lu is very good at stalling out heavy special attacking teams such as like Chiyu Fluttermane or like an Iron Bundle team, Ting Lu is that guy for it. He's got Vessel of Ruins, the clear amulet as item, rocking Payback, Stomping Tantrum, Heavy Slam, and Protect. We got Annihilate in that 4th slot and once Annihilate gets set up, it's pretty much game over. This thing can hit like a truck, get HP recovery back from its stab drain punch, and it can legit just outbulk any opponent. It's got Defiant, the leftovers as item, Rage Fist, Drain Punch, Bulk Up, and Protect. Again, top tier Pokemon, Annihilate, very tough to take out, so we'll probably be using Annihilate a good bit in today's video. We got Mousehold in our 5th slot, mainly there to pair up with Annihilate, but it can be used without it just for support. It's got Friend Guard, it's got the Safety Goggles, then it has Follow Me, Beat Up, Super Fang, and Protect. Final Pokemon for today's video is going to be Fluttermane. And again, Fluttermane, you cannot go wrong with in Series 3. I say it's like every video, but seriously, Fluttermane is just that Pokemon. It's that Pokemon. It's got Protosynthesis, the Life Orb, and then I'm loving this moveset of Shadow Ball, Moonblast, Thunderbolt, and Protect. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Runs code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that rank double ladder. Let's grab some wins with the Series 3 Tyranitar team. First match coming at you guys, and we're going up against a Shen Pao and Azumarill team that also features Dragapult, Rotom Heat, Corviknight, and Obama Snow. Obama Snow is going to be a Pokemon that we want to watch out for. We really do not want it to set up the snow, so T-Tar is going to come in here, but more so as a back-end Pokemon. So, I might lead Annihilate Mousehold. Looking at his team, Annihilate Mousehold is actually pretty strong here. We could tear it into fire, but I feel like Dragapult could potentially be that Pokemon that they're going to lead, right? They could go beat up and then just, like, Rage Fist up, but... We have options. We definitely have options here. I could go follow me, bulk up maybe turn one. Um, hmm. Who do I want to go into here? I really wouldn't want to terrasize in a fire though. Because it could be bad. It could be bad considering Azumarill is out there. Hmm. Do I want to go Annihilate Mousehold? King Lu is going to be eh. They have a lot of physical attackers. Four physical attackers. But who do I want to lead here is the real question. I think we go Annihilate Mousehold. Try to get that cooking. And then we just go T-Tar Lycanroc. I think that's our best bet. I'm going to lock it in, lock it down. Let's do it. Let's get after it here in match number one. But yeah, I feel like they can just go into so many different options. Corviknight's a tough little customer. Um, they also have the snow combo with Shen Pao and Obama Snow. Um, they could go Shen Pao, Azumarill, Shen Pao, Dragapult. Dragapult could definitely be a lead. A lot of different options, but Mousel and Nile can cover a lot of them. So I just think this is the best lead for us to try to get ourselves a win here in match number one. But let's see who our opponents can lead. I'm very curious because, again, a lot of different options. Whereas my team is like two or three different options. <laughs> let's see. So it's going to be Azumarill and Corviknight, which uh, I don't really mind. I don't really mind the Azumarill Corviknight. I do not really mind that. I mean, I can follow me bulk up turn one, which I think is going to be my play. I saw follow me bulk up. I really like that. I really like the follow me bulk up here. I just think it's a really smart play. Really easy play for me, too. Considering Azumarill could just go for a play rough into me and pretty much just take me out and I can get off this free bulk up Which is really really good for me Hmm, maybe I might want to bulk up twice. The amount of physical attackers they have Ridiculous. It is ridiculous So let's see what they do. I'm kind of hoping they just protect the Pokemon. I think they set up a Tailwind possibly with Corviknight, right? It's definitely an option 
But I might terrestrialize. I might end up terrestrializing. I'm not sure yet. The only problem is with like a zoom rail if you terrestrialize into fire. It's rough. It is rough. But follow me is gonna come out here from my lovely little mouse hold. I'm gonna get off this bulk up here, which is awesome. Plus one attack, plus one defense. We love it. And zoom rail, you going for a play rough probably? Tailwind from Corvo. And we'll see what he wants to do here. That player off does come out here, which also soaks pretty well. So from here, I could go into like a drain punch into you. I could beat up, but I'm thinking of just going like beat up Rage Fist into a zoom rail slot. Trying to get rid of this Pokemon. I think that's my play all day. Beat up and then in the Rage Fist could be really, really good for us. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. Just trying to get rid of this zoom rail and kind of go from there. Because Annihilate with one bulk up is, is pretty much a win with the mouse hold. So I don't really mind mouse hold going out here. If we can get off this beat up and then uh, take out a zoom roll with Rage Fist. I think that could be a pretty solid turn from us. And then we can just bring out like a Pokemon like Fluttermane or our uh, other Pokemon. But he ends up out speeding, which actually does me dirty. That does me dirty. I mean, I knew it was going to outspeed, but I wasn't really expecting the Brave Brew to come out there. Player off that now comes out here and we're able to soak. So we soak that up. Um, I have to bring out something to KO a Zoom Rail next turn. I do have to bring something out there. So we're going to do that much damage to this. I would love to probably just protect, get rid of a Zoom Rail, and then kind of go into a... Uh, uh, what's it called? Why do I think I have Fluttermane? I have these guys. And then kind of go into a, a uh, Drain Punch, which could be good for us. So from here, I'm thinking maybe just... So I go Lycan Rock here. Lycan Rock? Or do I go into like Pokemon like T-Tar? Maybe just Trash Lies it. Hmm. I think that's gonna be my play. Bring out T-Tar. Or do I just bring out like Lycan Rock? Maybe use Focus Ash, but that first time priority boost does me dirty. We're kinda hoping he doesn't have a bomb of snow in the back end. So T-Tar's gonna come out come out here from us. Um I'm thinking of just protecting my my Annihilate here. I'm just going to protect Annihilate, and then I'm just going to Terrasalize you, and I think I'm just going to pop a Rock Slide, because Rock Slide should be able to finish off the Zoom Rail, do some nice damage to the Corvo, and we can get our after the match that way. Plus, we have to Terrasalize Titar. It's going to be weak to the Fairy and the Water. Plus, they got Speed. Tailwind's looking scary. I would love to get off a Drain Punch very, very soon. It would be awesome for us. Oh, we'll see what our opponent wants to do here. The problem would be, like, a Shen Pao in the back, and Shen Pao could be a problem, but we still have Lycan Rock. Which could be good as long as they don't have a bomb of stone, which they might have. They might just uh, hard swap into a bomb of stone here, which I think they're thinking of doing. At that point, I might just want to like hard swap T Tar back and Lycanroc just so we can get weather control. But they're not going to swap into bomb of stone. We're hoping they don't have it. I don't think they're going to have it. They might. I would have it if I were them, seeing my team with T Tar. But we're just going to terrasize our T Tar right here. Straight into flying. We're not dealing with any of this nonsense. And we're going to protect our Annihilate, who I believe the Zoom Rail should be going after with like a play rough, right? So we protect our boy. Ends up going for Iron Head in this slot. We soak pretty well. Show me the player off goes across. It does. The player off ends up flying across Rock Side. I need you to land at least on the Azum Rail here. Hopefully both, but at least on the Azum Rail. Love you. So this should take out Azum Rail, which it does. We drop Corviknight down with a little bit of HP. And we say bye-bye to the little Azu. Okay, um, now we're sitting here. And that's a little, little bit of a weird position because I hate Tailwind. I hate that they have Tailwind. Um, Brave Bird can KO me too. I am terrified. Hmm. A Bomb of Snow now comes down here. So he's gonna go into a Bomb of Snow. Um, hmm. I might swap it to my Lycan Rock here. And just go for the Strain Punch. That'd be awesome. I am gonna swap my T-Tar. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hope that the Weather Boys can actually clutch us up because I think Annihilate's gonna die out here. I think having the Weather's gonna be awesome for us. And it's a, literally our only way of winning this match. It's a good match. This is a solid match right here. I think we can pull off this comeback. Our opponent's got us on the ropes right now. They really do. This Corviknight was such a good Pokemon to lead. Hmm. We're, we're really just kind of hoping that we can get off a free Drain Punch because Drain Punch will be huge. It would... A, bring down a bomb stone and focus ash or take it out. And then B, we get back a load of HP. A absolute unit of HP. So we hard swap T-Tar and Lycanroc just so we can swap T-Tar back in later. 
And if Brave Bird's gonna fly here, that's gonna KO my boy, isn't it? Yeah, he's gone. He is a goner. He is a goner. We'll see what Abomasome wants to go. Probably a Blizzard, right? Or please don't be setting up a War Bell. Okay, it goes for the Blizzard, which I don't mind. As long as you don't get the freeze. Cool, we sashed up. Okay, so now we're sashed up. Um, he's life orbed, which is a little odd. And now I can bring out my boy Titar. And Tailwind's gone, which is huge. So now I could end up just double rock side, which probably might play more so than anything. I just don't want him setting up another Tailwind. Do not want a Tailwind out here. I really do not. So from here, yeah, we're just going to go rock side. We're going to go rock side again. We're going to double down. And this could be... That could be the winning swap, because we already took out one Pokemon. Just say we... We know Lycanroc outspeeds, but just say Titar is able to outspeed. And we pick up a double kill and turn this into a 2v1. That could be huge. That could be huge. But I still think they have Terra, right? I believe they have Terrasalization still. Which could really do me dirty. It really depends on their, their Terra type. But I think Abomasnose is usually just straight up Ice. Now, I wonder what Corviknight is. I feel like Corviknight just has a bad tire type. Maybe Fire? We'll see. I feel like they're going to swap a Bombastone, but at that point, that could be really good for us. But they're going to end up Terrasalizing. Who's it going to be? That's a real question. Who are you Terrasalizing? Is this going to be the Bomba? Into what typing? Water. So that's a money type for him. We do get a chance to flinch, which could be big for us. And we'll see how this one's going to play out here. Rock Slide's gonna come out here from like a rock. Someone's dodging it. That kind of hurts. Obama Snow dodges it, really. Really, Obama Snow dodges it. Rock Slide comes out from T Tar. We don't even care the Corbin. Can we get some flinches here? We do not. That kind of hurts. So Iron Head comes out there. Give me a flinch on Obama Snow. Bang. That's big. That's big time. So we flinch Obama Snow. Um, I don't think we're sitting in a bad spot. I don't think we're sitting in a terrible spot. Um, hmm. I think I'm just gonna Terra Blast into you now, or I could stay with the Rock Slide. We'll do more damage. This would do more damage. Or I could crunch. They all do the same amount of damage. But you know, I'm gonna. Do I double down with Rock Slide? I guess I'll go for a Terror Blast. It just looks cool. So I'll go for a Terror Blast and I'll say that this Rock Slide is hitting this Corviknight. Let's go. Rock Slide on the Corvo. We need it landing. We actually need it to land on both. We do need it to land on both. But yo, what a. What a match. We get Sandstorm pretty much for the rest of the time, unless he swaps that Abomasome right here. But I don't think he's going to swap the Abomasome. I really don't see that happening. I don't see that happening. Rock Slide flies. It double connects. Corvo's gone. And then this Terra Blast should KO the Abomasome, no problem. And now it's 2v1. And we have Sandstorm, which is big. And I can Endeavor. As long as you don't have a first turn priority Pokemon, I can Endeavor you, bring you down to 1 HP. And have Buffets pretty much finish off this match, right? I'm scared to see who they're going to bring out, right? It could be Pult. It could most definitely be Dragapult. Which Dragapult would probably be a problem. It's going to be Shen Pao. So Shen Pao comes out here. Um, hmm. I think we just go for a Rock Slide. And an Endeavor. Because Buffets will take out. How many turns are left in Sandstorm? Let's just give it a quick peek. Three. We got plenty of turns left in Sandstorm. We're going to go for an Endeavor. This thing's probably Focus Ash. So if Rock Slide connects, it probably brings it down to Focus Ash. And then Sandstorm Buffets can just KO. If he doesn't Sucker Punch, Endeavor's going to bring it down to it. He has no double hitting moves. I think we're sitting in the most perfect spot that we possibly can. Wow, this would be an amazing comeback from us. They look like they had us on the ropes. But swapping our T-Tar and bringing back out this weather and saving the Lycan Rock and T-Tar for the back end... Mwah. It was perfect. It was perfect. But we'll see what they want to do here. We shall see. But I think we got this one unlocked. There's the Endeavor. Down the 1 HP. That's game, set, match now. Ice Spinner's going to come out there. You're going to die to Buffets. Good game. Unless you're Safety Goggles. Unless you're Safety Goggles. That's the only way. And I highly doubt this Pokemon Safety Goggles, correct? Highly doubt it. There it is. Buff is going to take out the Shen Pao. Let's go. Let's go. First match was awesome. Just for you guys, ended up grabbing ourselves a win in a long, drawn out battle. Let's hop into our second. Look for back to back victories. Second match is on its way. Let's go back to back for you guys. Going up against a Chiyu team. Chiyu and Deli Deli Bird. Huge combo. Very, very scary. We're definitely going to have to bring in Ting Lu for this one. But they also have Talonflame, Indeedee, Great Tusk, and Amoongus. Really solid team on their run. But I think we can pull this one out. So. 
Ting Lu is going to come out here for the lead. I really do like this Pokemon and I like its terror type of grass. Actually, I'd rather have it be Poison considering it's Chi Yu and Delibird, but we'll deal with it. We'll deal with it. So Ting Lu is going to come out here. Um, hmm. Who else should I bring? I could go Annihilate. I mean, Annihilate's not bad. Talonflame could definitely come out here. I could actually just go Weather. I kind of really like it a lot. Just going weather. I have like and rock with the sand rush. I mean, they could set up a tail, which could be a little bit of a problem, but I feel like we're fine from there. Ting Lu in the back end, and then last but not least, Fluttermane or Annihilate. Looking at this team, I mean, Fluttermane's gonna be super effective onto the ch -ch 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 the Deli Bird, the Tusk, and the Chi Yu, which is going to be solid. But then we got Annihilate, which is gonna be super effective onto the Deli Bird, the Chi Yu, I think that's it, right? Yeah, but still, Annihilate's a beast, Fluttermane's a beast, they're both very, very good. I think they're gonna have Tailwind up, but let me see Fluttermane's speed, 187, I think, I think you're gonna come in hot here, I think Fluttermane's gonna come in clutch, so we're gonna go in with Fluttermane, we're gonna leave the Annihilate and Mousehole combo out of here, we're gonna say see you later, you're not, we're not dealing with you this time, considering they, they were pretty good last match, but the MVPs were the T-Tar Lycanroc, right? Really clutched up for us. And the, and the best play of the game was me swapping that T-Tar and getting that weather at the end there. That was just perfect. If they would have swapped, they probably would have had the game. If they would have changed the weather back to snow, they probably would have had that game. But in this instance, we were able to take weather, win that game. They end up leading these two, which I, I don't mind. I mean, Rock Slizzle is going to be great. I could Terra, which I think is going to be my play because I really don't want like EQ coming out here. I think I'm just going to Terra Blast into you. And then just Rock Slide across the board. My play. It's my play. So Tailwind's probably going to come out here from Talonflame, right? We have to Terrasilize our T-Tar here because, again, I don't want to get slapped up by an EQ. We have Focus Ash on our Lycanroc, which is awesome, because then we can just endeavor from there, like you've seen in match one. That's why Lycanroc's so good. You give it the Focus Ash in the Sandstorm, it can pretty much outspeed every single Pokemon, unless Pokemon with first turn priority. And then it just endeavors, brings you down to 1 HP, and then the buffets usually just kill you. So it's absolutely amazing. But we're going to end up Terrasilizing my boy T-Tar, one of my all-time favorites. Absolute dog right here. We get our Terra off here. Bang. Flying Terra. It's just the, the best Terra for T-Tar. There's no debate. It is so good for T-Tar. Brave Bird's gonna fly here. You're gonna go after my Lycanroc, which you're not gonna do too much damage. You might just waste your Talonflame here. You might just waste your Talonflame, because now I get rid of your Talonflame. See you later. That did like one damage to the Great Tusk. And we're hoping we get a flinch on that. We are hoping we get a flinch on that. And he's gonna end up going for the EQ, which is a perfect terror type for us. He is gonna take out my Lake and Rock, but still, I'll take that all day, considering we took out Talonflame without allowing it to set up a Tailwind. Plus, we get off some crazy damage on the Great Tusk. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. Terror Blast gonna fly here. We're sending it, and now I can bring out Ting Lu. I could bring out Ting Lu. So, Terror Blast almost picks up the KO. We like that damage, though. And I'm gonna take Buffet to the Sandstorm. That's the only problem with that. But yeah, from here, I could, I could actually go Fluttermane. Hmm. Who did they have again? They could bring out Deli Bird. Deli Bird could be a little bit of a problem, but I feel it's going in Ting Lu might be my play. I'm going to do that. I'm going to make that call. I'm going to make that call. Say you're going to throw out a special attacker. There it is. Deli Bird comes out here. So Ting Lu is going to be pretty solid for us. Um, I understand that he can still do a lot of damage, which is a little bit of a problem, but I think we should be fine here. I think we should be fine here. So we already know that Tusk outspeeds my Pokemon, and so is Deli Bird. So from here, I could just go for, I really don't, I kind of want to go for a rock slide. Hmm. I think I'm going to go for a rock slide. Or do I, do I double down into Deli Bird? Because Fluttermane can get rid of Tusk, no problem. So by going into rock slide, I think I just, yeah, I'm thinking of just rock sliding and going into like a heavy slam. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to double down on Deli Bird. I really want Deli Bird gone more than anything. So we're going to see a Terra type, probably from the Deli Bird, which is solid. And what are you going to do? Straight water possible, right? Straight water? Are you straight watering? You want straight water, which is a great call from our opponent. Ah, oh, man. Maybe the Great Touch just protects. You never know. Let's see. Nope, goes for a free strike. Can you soak with Tinglu on the field? You can, and you have the best. That is, that is lovely. Close combat's going to fire. You might die to that. Yeah, wow. Ouch. Ouch! Defense is going to drop a little bit. That did hurt. But I get to bring out my Fluttermane. I do get to bring out my Floods. 
do get to bring out my floods. Life Orb's gonna drop it some damage, and maybe Rock Slide might be able to KO. It does now. That's actually... Uh, I'll take that. I'll take that. But now we're sitting here with a problem. Like, Ting Lu's not on field. I think Freeze Dry can end up KO in my T-Tar now. Which kind of hurts. It kind of hurts, but... We do get to bring out Fluttermane, which is big time. So we get Fluttermane with the Life Orb. This is a close match. Get out Fluttermane with the Life Orb, and they're gonna bring out their final Pokemon, which is... A moon is yo screw this thing. <laughs> I mean I can go into a, what's called uh, up against it though. A uh Terra Blast, which is really good. Or I can go Ice Punch, but Terra Blast is gonna do more damage. So we're gonna Terra Blast this thing down. And I feel like from here we just Thunderbolt. But just in case oh I want a Thunderbolt so bad. No, screw it, I'm gonna go for the Thunderbolt. Or is he gonna rage powder me? I might just moon blast in this instance. Or Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball would do the most damage to the moves. I'm going to Shadow Ball down this uh, Deli Bird slot. I'm going for it, but I can definitely see a Rage Powder coming out here. Hmm. This one's coming down. To, this is coming down to it, ladies and gents. He's going to end up protecting the moves. Uh, that's fine, I guess. I guess that's fine. Let's see what a uh, uh, Deli Bird goes for. He goes for a Hydro Pump and a Flutter Main. That might KO me. It does not KO me. Okay, that's big time. Shadow Ball flies. Can this KO the Deli Bird? That is huge. That is huge. That pretty much just won us the game. Let's go. Let's go. Flutter main able to soak up that Hydro Pump. That was huge. That was legit the game right there. So we're going to lose some HP to uh, Life Orb. And can we survive Buffets? I would love one more turn here. But I think my t -tar can pretty much handle this match. I'm pretty sure it can. The Flutter Mane is going to take Buffets. It soaks it up. It can soak up another Buffet. Actually, it cannot because we're going to lose some life orb. But this match is over. It is game, set, match. No problem. We're going to go into a Terra Blast. We're going to follow it up with a Shadow Ball. That's game. That is game. We both outspeed. Both these shots should be able to KO. And that's going to be 2-0 for us. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's go. Nothing better than starting off 2-0 for today's video. Third and final battle is going to be a fun one. Um, I wonder who I'm going to use, though. But Shadow Ball popping out here. Probably bring a move down to about half. It does. And then Terror Blast coming out here. Special Defense is going to drop. I lose some HP to Life Orb. Oh, and you got the berry. You got the berry. You're still dead to this. You you should still be a goner. Dude, T-Tar's MVP today. Flying Terror T-Tar is just so good. It is just so good. But there's Terror Blast. Amoongus, get on out of here. Get on out my game. 2-0. Let's hop to a third. Look for that perfect record. Final match coming at you guys. Going up against a co-star Flamigo team. Paired up with Don Dozo. We're definitely going to see that come out here. I wish I had Haze for this instance. But we do not. We simply do not. So we're going to have to deal with it. Co-star Flamigo is absolutely amazing. And I don't really see myself dealing with this. This seems like a problem. This seems like we're going to lose this match. No problem. They also have Scissor, Fluttermane, and Gargonackle. But the co-star Flamigo with Don Dozo and Commander Tatsugiri. It's a problem. It's a problem. Do I have to bring Annihilate? Possibly, yeah, maybe, probably, I think so, I'm all about it, let's do it, <laughs> let's do it, so Annihilate my Mouse is going to come out here for uh, the lead, and then in the back end, Fluttermane's not bad, I mean, the only problem is going to be Scizor, Scizor's always a problem, I wish I had Fisher on you, that would be awesome, I do have Grass Terra, but, um, but no Terra Blast, Water is going to be nasty, Fighting's going to be, oh, so, how, <laughs> this one's ugly. This one's so ugly. This is terrible for us. This is terrible. I'm going to end up going into you and I think just Ting Lu. This is terrible. This is bad. This is real bad. Oh, actually, hold up. Wait a minute. We're going to bring in Lycanroc. Just for the sheer fact of Endeavor. That's big. That's big. Endeavor with that Focus Ash. That can really help us out if we can pull it off. But yeah, this one's a problem. This is definitely a problem. Big time problem. I don't like it. I don't like it. So I wonder what they're going to do, though. I'm curious to see who the lead's going to be. Garkonackle and Tatsugiri. The Tatsu's going to come out here. We do get Annihilate and Mouse one ready to cook. Um, I could bulk up. I could... Eh, no, I'm not going to tear I think I'm just going to bulk up. Actually, I could Drain Punch. I could Rage Fist the slot. Takes less damage to mm, ghost moves. This is just awful. I'm gonna bulk up and I'm going to. I might super fang you.
Just half HP. And if he wants to swap into Don Dozo, that's fine. Tatsugiri goes for the indoor. I'm not hitting you. I'm not allowing you to die out here. I already know your plan. I already know your plan. So Super Fang's gonna fly here. Half damage. Bulk up's coming out here. Uh, his plan is he wants me to hit that Tatsugiri and bring it down to low HP. So we'll die to like the Toxic Orb and he get out Co-Star from Ego. Are you gonna explode? Oh, never mind. That doesn't affect Annihilate, which is big. I'll take that all day. Alright, I'll take that. Okay, but now we have a little bit of a problem. I mean, now Lycan Rock's gonna come out here because we can end if we want to. But Tatsugiri's going to get Commander. It's gonna die out, and then Co-Star Flamigo's gonna come up next. So this is where I wish I had Haze, yo. <laughs> this is where I wish I had Haze. Explosion. Explosion out here. Okay, so Dantos is gonna come out here. Um, did Tatsugiri survive? Or not Tatsugiri, did Mousehold survive? I thought it died. Did that thing survive? I would kind of like that a lot. He did survive. Oh, wow. Um. The question is, do I bulk up again or do I just start rage fisting? I think I'm going to just do this. Instead of follow me, I think I'm just going to beat up on an alley. But I'm going to start bulking my boy. Not those are protects. That is a huge turn. That's a huge turn. I mean, we could have read the protect because he just wants that Tatsugiri to die out. He wants that Tatsugiri to die out so we can bring out Flamigo. And at this point, this is when we terrestrialize because the kind of guy has me up on the ropes here. I mean, I can follow me a shot, though, which is pretty good. I don't think we terrestrialize. I think we follow me a shot and we just start rage fisting these Pokemon down. Oh my lord, this is terrifying. This is terrifying, but Annihilate's boosted really well. Plus two on attack, plus two on defense. Tatsugiri dies, Flamigo's gonna come out here. We're gonna have two Pokemon that are plus two stats in every category. Oh my lord. Leave me alone. At least they're physical attackers because I'm boosted on defense. And I have friend guard. Um. Hmm. I don't think I Terrasalize. I do not think I Terrasalize. I think I just go into like a Rage Fist here. I try to get rid of Flamigo, and I just follow me the shot. Because Flamigo should go first. Flamigo should go first. So Flamigo going after you with potentially like a Brave Bird could be solid. Yep, there it is. So Flamigo's going to go after you with a Brave Bird. He's going to hit me up with, I don't even know what, maybe a Wave Crash here. Plus one defense, which is really good. It's going to boost my defense. Well, not my defense. It's going to boost my Rage Fist damage, which is good. And he's going to go for EQ. So this is why I did not want to throw Slice into, into what's it called, into fighting, or not fighting, fire, it's just a problem, it's just a problem, so Rage Fist gonna fly here, we get rid of Flamigo, so, okay, not doing so bad, the problem here is like, he, now he has a Max Dodonzo out there, with a side partner, like usually when you're facing Dondozos, it's just like one of them, but from here, I'm gonna go into you, and I am going to endeavor to slide, actually, are you, who's faster? I might not even endeavor this turn. Oh, this is your final Pokemon. Oh, this is your final Pokemon. This is your final Pokemon. Say less. Let's just protect. Let's just get off as much damage. This is your final Pokemon. Oh, this is cake. This is cake. GG's. I shouldn't say GG's. You end up liquidationing me. Which I survived, which is gorgeous. Rage Fist coming in hot here. Sending it. How much damage are you doing? Oh, yes, sir. We like that. We like that. You get some leftovers HP. I could end up protecting. I don't know who's faster though. That's my problem. That's my problem. I think we just span Endeavor until we land it, right? I think we span Endeavor until we get it. I don't know who's faster. Hopefully he's faster and he hits up on my Lake and Rock here. That'd be nice. That'd be lovely. No, we go first. <laughs> we go first. So we do outspeed it. Liquidation comes out here. That's big time because now I'm on one HP and I'll just endeavor next turn. And I get some HP back from the strain punch. Good game. Good game. This is exactly why we brought Lightning Rock. That worked out perfectly. That worked out perfectly because I was like, yo, we definitely need what's it called. I was like, we definitely need Lightning Rock here. This is going to be a problem. And actually, Annihilate and Mousehold really clutched it up. He allowed me just to set up this Pokemon so much with plus two defense and plus two attack. We got off two bulk ups and then we were able to beat it up at the same time and follow Mewshot. We got a lot of value out of a Mousehold, which is awesome. 
But from here, I'm just going to go into a Rage Fist. Rage Fist will do more damage by KO. And I will just endeavor you. Bring you down to 1 HP. There we go. Bop. Down to 1 HP. Let's see what he does. He goes for EQ. So EQ is going to pick up the double KO. Actually, it does not. Annihilate's <laughs> able to soak. <laughs> lovely, lovely, lovely. We have Fluttermane in the back end. Which actually... Could Fluttermane soak up a shot? Maybe not. So Annihilate's going to clutch this one up. Rage Fist flies through. Don Dozo get out of here. 3-0 perfect record for today's video. You guys got to love it. 3-0 perfect record. Come on, man. That's too easy. That is just too easy. Absolutely ripped up with Cloverbell's team today. Loved it so much. You got the Annihilate Mouse Hole combo. That can really get after a lot of different teams. Then you got Lycan Rock and Titar, who are absolutely amazing. They were showcasing match number one and match number two. Probably our MVPs. Annihilate was a close second, but they were up there. They definitely did a lot of work. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend positive today. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.